How are you doing? Thank you for viewing. What we're doing today is going to go ahead and make a tutorial video. We do supply some aftermarket assemblies and there's always a question regarding what port location you have or there's always a follow-up call. So what we're doing is making a tutorial based on your tonnage of the what unit we're going to supply. Right here in front of us we have a large scale drive. It's rated for approximately a 30 ton machine. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what your port locations are going to be on this specific unit. Your main A and B ports, or vice versa, are going to be these split flange configurations here. That's where your two large lines are going to go. And regarding your case drain, which is going to be your return line back to your tank, it's usually your medium size line. That guy is going to go to the side of this specific unit, right here where this hex head bolt is. Overall, in regarding that, it should be universal per which side of the machine you're putting it on. So in regarding that hex head, that's where your medium hose will go. Now, in regarding your two-speed, it's usually your smallest line with a 90-degree angle fitting on the end of it. It's going to go all the way into the back of the rear of this motor. Also, that should be a universal port, and they're in the same exact location. This unit here is actually rated for approximately a 20-ton machine. In front, you're going to have some threaded ports for your A and B configurations. It's going to be your large-scale lines, same as prior, how it was with the split flange configuration. Your case drain, your medium line, is going to be directly beside the universal port. This one, or this one, is going to be for your case drain. Now, in regarding your two-speed, same as the first one. If you're, it's usually the longer line with the 90-degree angle fitting on it. It's going to go to the rear of this motor. Directly in the back, it's going to be the smallest port location. Again, this was rated for approximately 20 tons. So third down the list, we have a little bit of smaller unit that is approximately for a 13 13 ton machine on average. All the configuration is going to be in front. So what you can do is go ahead and go through the video and see which style you have. And if there's any other questions, you can give us a call. But we're trying to go ahead and eliminate that and give you the most information, you know, prior to purchasing. So in regarding you have your A and B lines, your two large ones, your case, your universal case drain, because these motors are can go on the left side or the right side. And then your small line is going to be directly in the center. It's usually always the one that's offset if your motor resembles this one here. So in regarding the fourth unit we have down here in the line, it's going to be, you know, approximately mid-size to a mini excavator. It's rated for roughly around a 40-ton machine. Here, you're going to have your A and B ports, your universal case drain, your medium line, and on the side of this specific unit, if your unit looks like this, it usually does not leave our facility with a fitting installed on the side. But if we supplied this unit to your machine, it should be identical to how your original one was. We'll have to go ahead and remove this Allen head plug and go ahead and insert a, a fitting, which is usually a British standard pipe for this specific unit. And it's gonna to attach to your 90 degree angle hose. This one here is rated for the same same tonnage of a machine, and it's going to be close to the third one in line that we discussed prior. Your A and B ports here, your universal case drain, and your two-speed always offset in the center here. So in the event, if we did not go ahead and identify a unit that we supplied to you, and if there's any further questions, you can always go ahead and dig us up online. Give us a call. There should be some business cards in the package. We're always here to assist you the best way we can. Please go ahead and give us a call and give us your feedback. Thank you.